hello guys so let's continue with the applications of divide and conquer algorithms the first application is finding maximum and minimum in the given array so first we uh, try to solve this problem without divide and conquer approach and analyze that what is the time complexity if i solve this problem without recursion or without following the divide and conquer approach so i just solve this problem without divide and conquer approach so let's take the input so the input is suppose i have an array which contains some element like 5 40 7 23 16 90 51 and 1 now the output is a one maximum element and one minimum element so in this array the output should be 90 and the minimum output should be 1 now let's write the algorithm for the same So the algorithm include uh, I just write the pseudocode for the same algorithm let's say the pseudocode is straight max min with an array a of size n so in this algorithm suppose I just initialize max is equal to min is equal to first element of an array initially let us assume that the first element would be max and minimum then the for loop starts from i is equal to 2 to end of the array and if a of i in the second element is greater than the considered max then I just replace the max with the uh, a of i that is second third or fourth whatever the ith value is else if a of i is less than min then I just update the value of minimum element okay. then I just close the for loop here and close the processor straight min max and min so let's analyze this algorithm this algorithm contains a for loop and two if else conditions so for example if uh, I apply this algorithm on the same input which is provided here then uh, I can say that initially I is equal to 2 and the a of 1 that is 5 is equal to max and min so the max and min pointer would be at value 5 now when for loop starts from 2 so the same array so I just draw an array here so in which 5 40 7 23 16 90 5 and 1 value is stored with the indexes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so here is your i pointer initially so i will go from 2 to 8 and a of 1 is equal to 5 this is your 5 value 
in the for loop if a of i that means 40 is greater than max yes then max is updated so the max would be 40 then because a of i if condition is true it will not go into the else part it will uh, stick on the 40 then i is incremented and it will check for 7 whether 7 is less is greater than 40 no it will go into the so here min is same as 5 when this second condition when i go here so in the for loop i will move to here so this is my new i i just compare this new i with the min uh, i find this 7 as a maximum than min so i cannot replace it so just leave it and increment the value of i so i is now pointed fourth index that is the value of 23 i compared with the maximum element i do not find it greater so i just not replace it i then find out i find uh, compare with the minimum element i do not find it lesser so i just uh, leave it and increment the value of i now the i is pointing to fifth index and the value 16 which is not greater than 40 and not less than 5 so i just increment the i 90 is greater than 40 so i just replace the 9 40 with 90 okay then then uh, I just because I have if condition is executed I am not going to the else part I would be executed now I found 5 here again 5 is not less than uh, this 5 so not greater than 90 so I just increment the I again it would reach at 8th index which value is 1 so 1 is not greater than max so it will go to the else part and 5 will become one okay so in this way this algorithm will return 90 and 1 so the time complexity of this algorithm will totally based upon the number of comparisons how many number of comparisons are there so for this algorithm the best case would be if the array is in ascending order the array which is provided is in ascending order then it will become the best case okay so for example if i have an array of element 10 20 30 and 40 this is the array in the ascending order then how many comparisons are there so in order to find out the max and mean in the sorted array or in array in the ascending order uh, so initially the max and mean will point at the first index that is a of 1 then we compare the a of second element that is a of 2 with the max i found it greater yes i just replace it so max will be incremented it will point here then i will compare it with the uh, a of 3 yes max is greater so i just increment the max then i compared with this element fourth index i find it greater i just update the max element so in this case i totally require n minus 1 comparisons in order to find out the max element because it is already sorted min is not updated and it min is uh, keep as it is so it required total of order of n minus comparisons or we can say that the best case have the complexity order of n okay the worst case would be when the array which is uh, given is in the descending order of the elements so if the array is in the descending order it would be considered in the worst case how it is considered in the worst case so let's suppose uh, the array elements are in 
reverse sorted it means it is like 40 30 20 10 and 5 this is the array element given so according to the iterative algorithm max and min is pointing to the first element and the i would be pointing here so if in the first if condition would be if a of i means this element is greater than this condition is false so it will go into the else part so because the condition is false 30 is not greater than 40 so that's why condition is false so min element would be incremented because yes uh, the 30 is less than a of i uh, a of i that means 40 so the min element is updated it is pointing to i here then i is incremented again because 20 is not greater than 40 then min is updated again 10 is greater than 10 is not greater than 40 so then min is updated it will go into the else part similarly 5 is not greater than 40 so min is updated so here is also min again so in this case if it is in descending order so in this case also we require n minus 1 comparisons so it means order of n is the time complexity for the average case also uh, it require n minus 1 by 2 plus n minus 1 by 2 it means it is like 2 into n minus 1 of theta of n is a time complexity so it is not 2 into n minus 1 it is just n minus 1 and theta of n, n is a time complexity so <coughs> if uh, I remove here so this is a worst case and average case analysis of the same thing uh, if I remove the if and else part in the this algorithm then the same time complexity for the best case would be 2 of n minus 1 for the worst case it would be 2 of n minus 1 and for average case also it would be 2 of n minus 1 so for, and because for max and min they all require n minus 1 comparisons for max n minus 1 comparison for min element that's why it would be 2 of n minus 1 if the if and else part is not there subsection is not there okay now so this is the uh, uh, algorithm to find max and minimum without divide and gain curve George and I found order of n is a time complexity if you solve this problem without divide and conquer approach let's apply the divide and conquer approach on the same algorithm and try to analyze the solution for this problem okay so I just drop it up and then apply the divide and conquer approach <coughs> 